and events you want to be known, then amp them up on Amp It Up, our new online radio station. We want your voice to be heard, so spread the word on Amp It Up. Contact us at 866-224-5422 for more information. Let's Amp It Up. It's lunchtime, and the Broken Cafe is open for business. Live from Studio A in the heart of Delray Gallery, Dawn and Freddie S. and their team are ready to serve up a huge portion of fun for lunch with friends and neighbors. So let's break open that lunch pail and unwrap that sandwich you brought and take a front row seat in the Brooklyn Cafe and get ready to enjoy some humor and hot topics. It's time to get a healthy serving of hope and happiness to help your day go by with a smile. Your hosts, Dawn and Freddie S., are ready to talk about food, health, dating, or just plain dream making. If you have a story to share, a movie review, restaurant critique, or just a coincidental thing that happened to you, call in toll free at 888-565-1470 right now. Sit back and enjoy your lunch break at the Brooklyn Cafe. Here are your hosts, Dawn and Freddie S. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the Brooklyn Cafe. And we are on the road on a beautiful Friday afternoon. We are on the road again. On the road again. And I'm going to tell you, this is going to be a lot of fun today. I love this place. We have also, the kids don't even understand what I'm going to do to them today. Because I'm going to put them all to dance. Manuel and Anya, you guys are going to do like a first date dance? Anya, you showed up <laughs> just in the nick of time. <laughs> because we need a favor. <laughs> we are going to roll out some fun via the dance. You and I are going to try it too. I can. I gotta run. I gotta run the mic. You and I are gonna try it too. I we got a huge crew. We got Rhonda. We got a lot of people. That's Hector's right. We're here. We're gonna put everybody ahead of us. They're gonna all dance. But on the set, who do we have here? Who is our host here? We've got Alec Laza. We are live today at the Delray Ballroom with Paramount Dance and Alec. Tina was kind enough to help set up all the refreshments for our crew. We've got Wayne with us from Dignity. Linda Summers is here. I've got a surprise guest coming for you. You don't oh even know who's coming boy. yet? Who's coming? And she's a surprise. She's a surprise? Yeah, she's a surprise for Who? you. The last time <laughs> you this don't happened, do well I got with drafted. Surprises. <laughs> there we go again. You're not going to get drafted. And Jackie, Jackie Birch is in the house. Jackie Birch, everyone is on the mend and healing. It's been a couple weeks. We've had some crew out sick, and everyone's back. It's Friday. And you know, every time we go on location, there's always a different energy in a room. This energy in this room is unbelievable. And Freddie knows normally I don't sit in a room because I'm more normally outside because I'm so crazy with different energies, but the energy here is amazing. Even right Hector, even Hector it was really smiling. is. Hector never yeah. smiled. When you walk smiling. into a place and you can just sit and feel like you're at home, you came in and you saw sitting around. We never do that. We're always running around and doing, but it's just so comfortable here. It's beautiful. The costumes, what the dancers boutique next door and the chandeliers. I had no idea this mall was even here or that they were here. You're funny. That's because Teddy and, and the and the gang put it all together. I don't even have to worry about it anymore. You know, the one good thing about being on the road for three weeks is you guys have learned to set up very quickly, which and has been amazing. take it down very quickly. Right? Set up right. and take down. They take have gotten even it Manuel. down pat. Even you, Manuel, in the spoken English, is, uh, is getting it all together. But anyway, I want to I also invite you to share out the show, because sharing is caring. Um, if you are watching, please share it out. Tell your friends. Let them know. Now, we don't have the phone line up today, do we? All right, well, we're going to have the phone line next week because we have our mini back. We've got a lot of new things coming down the pike. And on Wednesday, we're going to post a new flyer that our crew put together. We're having a Friendsgiving potluck at our new studio. So is, everyone who was watching is invited. Is that open to the public? It is open to the public, yes, because I want everyone to come out and see I what we got going on. You better get a big on. chicken. You better get a big chicken. <laughs> well, I didn't know you opened it to the public. Are you coming? I'm coming. We're public, aren't we? We're a public venue, and all of our hosts and everyone that's watching and all of our guests and our friends and our sponsors, I want everyone to come. It is, nowhere, it is nowhere near what it's going to look like, ultimately, our new studio, but you know what? We want to get everyone Bring in and just give thanks for what <laughs> everything that everybody has. I think it's the perfect opportunity to get going. Yes, bring a dish. We're gonna have a lot. I'm gonna to talk to Ramona. I'm gonna to talk to Nico down at Pizza District. We can have maybe a pizza tasting cook off. So I don't know. We'll do something fun. Dr. Lee's bringing Chinese food. You're gonna to go to Presidente. We're gonna have an international, international Friendsgiving. Meanwhile, the theater is still not ready. There's all sorts of things that have to be done in your house. Does having, it matter? 
It doesn't. I guess doesn't the Indians matter. cleaned up their teepee. Doesn't matter, right? right? The Indians cleaned up their teepee and the pilgrims came in. So it's all good, right? I like it. All right, you just sweep the floor a little bit and we're good to go. And I'm going to get a real broom. <laughs> they don't know that joke. No. Dawn went and bought a three-foot broom. A three-foot broom. Because she's four feet, so she's the only one that it can use like it. It seemed like the perfect size when I was at Walmart. Did yeah. you say broom? Broom. A broom. B-R-O-O-M. To sweep the yeah, floor. A three-foot right broom. Three-foot. We could use your assistance here quite often. This floor gets a lot of use. Yeah, this place, it's just amazing. Alec, tell us about ballroom dancing in Delray and Paramount. And oh, wow. The dance community is alive and well in South Florida, isn't it? It really is. I mean, if you don't know about it, maybe you'll get a little glimpse today about it. But this place is rocking and rolling uh, three, four nights a week. They have open dancing. They have group dancing. They have an ongoing in internal studio where they teach people how to dance. And our studio recently merged with them as one of our southern locations to offer this uh, beautiful life skill to the general public. So we're, we're very excited to be here. Uh, hopefully I'm waiting for Amanda and Chris to show up. Uh, we've got some other surprises for you too. And I heard we were going to demonstrate the first date dance lesson. Is that, is that still? That's what we're doing. As a matter of fact, we have a couple of kids who are going to actually have them do a mock dating so they don't get nervous. This is and Freddie's idea. And this is my idea because I think it's a great idea. If you think about how people meeting somebody, I mean, everybody in here is young and, and you date, right? You have boyfriends and wife, girlfriends. What better way of meeting somebody this way and then you get to know them? You get to know if you want to be around them. You get to know whether or not this is going anywhere. You're going to know right away whether you're going to have a combination, a connection, or you're not. Well, here's the thing. I guess you can learn. You're a good dancer, yes? I'm not a good dancer. You're not? No. I just, I just, I just flail my arms. I don't care. Mm. you got to learn to dance. And first thing, Alan looks at my shoes and he goes, you're going to dance with that? I heard you, that? sir, say that anyone can dance. Anyone can dance. I can't dance. Anybody can you're dance. You're going to have to teach me. You see, the Great funny news. I can't but dance. let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Anybody gets up there and they, they have no rhythm, let's say. They, you know, they're just wailing and flailing. You can't walk up and say, just get off the floor. You can't dance. Anybody can dance. Anybody can dance. Yeah, you just got to have fun doing it. Jackie, maybe you and Manuel. You've got a couple Whoa. guests over here <laughs> yes. that are here. We have people showing up, uh, hopefully. And, uh, we're and they're a part you. of your community? They're part of our dance community, yes. We, we kind of closed the studio activities up for now because you know we needed to pay attention to you and what we're doing here. But hopefully, we'll have some surprises coming up for you. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah. How long have you been here? We're in Delray Beach. We're at 5850 West Atlantic. Avenue. Got to make sure I get the Atlantic. We're just off of Jog Road in a beautiful shopping plaza. You've been here for how long? Well, Paramount moved here about a year and a half ago when it closed its bricks and mortars location on the island of Palm Beach. We had that going for 15 years and uh, we decided to go a little bit more convenient for the community because how much Palm Beach County has grown, we kind of got landlocked having one space. It was good timing. So we tried doing this idea where we're cohabitating with an existing studio uh, in three other locations, one in West Palm and starting one in Jupiter. So this is my latest, one of my good new idea. little projects. And but how's it working great. here? This is my personal home as well. I do my coaching and teaching here. So I kind of hold up this leg of the, of the show and the other parts of my team are doing West Palm and partly here as well. So it's, it's going great. I call it a great retirement job or a semi-retirement job if you want to, but for myself, but we love dancing and we love sharing the gift of dance with everybody. Um, we've got people that are recovering from injury here. We've got people that come just to meet other people. We got people just from every walk of life, young, middle-aged. We've got all sorts of uh, exhibitions and shows going on all the time, uh, competing couples. In this particular location, we have some pretty prominent dance professionals and known dancers coming in and out of here from time to time and coaching. So you get exposure to a lot of what the flavor of the dance culture and the ballroom dance community has become uh, right here. Has it changed? It's evolving. I mean, I, I like to think being in it 45 years that it hasn't changed much, but I'm sure. You've been in the dance community for 45 years? You don't think it's changed in 45 years? 
it's evolving, but the, the same basic model works. I mean, I, I had a studio just like this in, in 84. Well, I remember when they had Saturday Night Fever, and they filmed it. She was a dancer, remember? Did I just say 84? Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> just kidding. But Saturday Night Fever, she was a dancer, and that whole emphasis in Brooklyn was a giant, and Roseland in Manhattan was a giant party in town. And the, the, the place they shot it in Brooklyn at the time was at the height of the disco era. Yeah. And it was phenomenal. You know, they did a great job if you were, and I was a kid in those days. But I seen it change because now you think you can dance is on television and they bring in stars and they, they, they throw all sorts of um, degrees of difficulty for them to win this thing and everything else. I think it's become more of a business. I think it's fun. I think it's great exercise. I think the senior community, as the baby boomers have gotten older, are looking to do more and more in this field. This is what I'm trying to capture. Dancing is fun. And it's not about being judged. It's about having fun. It's about having fun. But the dances have stayed the same. You know, some of the music has changed. But it's always what's old is new again. And the classics. And you look here, you've got Fred Astaire and Ginger. and amazing right everyone looks back and says how beautiful how romantic that's just the soap opera no it's the dream Running ginger it's the cinderella dream i'm sorry girls cinderella? still have it they still have dreams they still want the white picket fans and the big weddings i think so okay well. i think they still want and the guys dream. have changed too. they want it all <laughs> and guys have changed too guys say give me the bill and get out of my way yeah but still to go out and have fun and dance and come together something beautifully romantic all right so let's put it let's put it to a vote You've dated a few guys in your life, right? Any anybody anybody ever taken you to dance as a first date? Um, no. But it's really funny because my boyfriend now, one thing that he said to me one time we were having a good time out with everybody and he said, I wanna go dancing. I wanna go dancing with you. As Jackie falls off her chair. As I fall Jackie's off my chair. See, design. I'm like the least <laughs> graceful person in the world. And but she but he wants to go. Yeah, but I told him that her. he wouldn't want to be with me anymore if we did go dancing, so. Well, if you take all the judgment out of it, is what I'm saying. Suppose good, bad, or indifferent, you don't right. have anybody judging you. There's no then judgment. Then it's completely different. You just have to be comfortable enough to do it. That's right. I never was. I always thought that I was better running than I was dancing. And my mom would drop me off at dance class, and I would cry. I, would, I can't do it. But, but this is so different. Now, you guys, anybody ever got taken... Look who's here. Anybody ever got taken dancing on a, on a date? Forget about a first date, because that's really unheard of. But anybody ever, has anybody ever been taken dancing for a date? Anybody? I see no hands going up. Do you remember so back in the day we'd go to clubs and dance? That's what we used to do, because it was. I used to go, oh, I've been to like clubs. I've never oh, been like. Yeah. Right. This is totally there. different. All right, well, so clubs, what about clubs? Yeah, you got into a, what, on a date with the first date on, to a club? Oh, you know, it was actually fun one time. I was in Miami, and these guys, these um, they were from some Spanish-speaking country. They were teaching me how to dance salsa, and I was dancing salsa with them. Yeah, that was fun. That's a dance. That's a dance. Yeah. That was That's me then. <laughs> so there you go. Know. So you were willing yeah. to try. That was a partner dance. If he was touching you and moving you around and you Yeah, he was spinning. I was spinning and doing things. I was, I was going all the over the place. It was fun, right? It was just the best time. I still yeah. I have him on social media and everything and he'll reach out to me from time to time. It was just like a fun little thing. Him and his friend were doing it and I was like, oh, I want a salsa. <laughs> and you stay friends. Yeah, it was really great. About. And also the concept of rehabbing and getting over injuries right. with dancing. It's not only about going to the gym. You can actually do it here and dance and have fun. You absolutely can, yeah. Dancing and, uh, is a great exercise. You can fix your brain-body connection. Your neuroplasticity uh, will go off the charts. Yeah, it's a great activity. It's one of those uh, activities that the better you get at it, the more benefit you receive from it. It's a network. It's social. It's healthy. It's a lifestyle. I'm experiencing some of the benefits now in my back nine that I didn't know this could do for you, but just being in this office, music playing and people moving all every day, it really soothes the soul and mm -hmm. heals the body. So I'm a living advocate of it, and uh, it doesn't matter where you are, you can start. The first lesson is the same for everybody. You gotta learn how to walk forward, backward, what rock steps are, how to time your weight change to music, so some of that stuff after the first four or five lessons, if you can smooth that out, get to the next level, you'll start to uh, 
feel what it's like to be a dancer. If you're in a good place and you got a good teacher, it's going to be fun no matter what. Mm -hmm. And uh, it also also gives you strength to become more positive. Mm -hmm. You ever notice that people that dance they have a better approach towards things. They're more confident towards things because they're more confident about themselves. Right. Yeah, it's a replacement skill for a uh, toaster, like joining uh, a public speaking group. Yeah. Because eventually, if you do this long enough and it's a good studio or teacher, they're going to ask you to do a little showcase, a little spotlight where you have to, you know, get it up and perform, put the dress on. And, and those experiences uh, help sort of... Uh, Cutherize who we are. Hey, Amanda. <laughs> Amanda's so like, you got this. You're good. Just walked in, and uh, all is well. That's fantastic. I mean, we'll talk to Amanda. Who we got? To, who's going to dance? Manuel? Everybody. We have dance. Jackie. We, you talked about recovering yeah. from injury. We have Lorraine here already. She's in the audience. Okay. Well, Manuel's recovering from injury too. So we oh, got to cool. put him out there. Anya, even Rhonda, you dance, don't you? <laughs> Lorraine yeah, and you. there was a gentleman Jackie there. Jackie said she's going to dance. No. Right, the Jackie's gonna. She, you ever seen Seinfeld? You know what? I should just. I don't know why it surprises me when you would throw me into something anymore. That's right. So, no. You said to me, "You need me." You're right. I need you. And, and not to dance. It's like Seinfeld. <laughs> what was the name of the girl? I Seinfeld? think we're gonna get you out there. Let's yeah, do. Freddie, why let's don't you do go these out there? two first date dance oh lesson you right gotta, here. You gotta put the glass you and Freddie, right here. Freddie and Jackie. <laughs> you have to put no. You have to put the glass where away. Because me and Jackie in the room, Jackie's going to uh -huh. be over there, I'm going to be over here. The windows it? are going to break, <laughs> everything's going to be broken. All right, who's going to be the teacher? Do? New who's going to be the teacher? Alex going to teach, you and I are going to dance, and we're going to let one of our crew, Rhonda can come up and she can hold the mic. We got Rhonda and Jackie, and you and I are going to well, do this. Well, why don't we let it flow, because I also want to, <laughs> he also said you're going to do the dance piece, the end of what it looks like nicey-nice. I want to get everybody yes. a little comfortable. Don't make everybody nervous. Look at their faces. We're just Your trying to make you nervous. You're going to have to. Nervous. You're going to have to listen to me for a while. That's, that's, five that's minutes. That's going to be tough. Five Take minutes. It easy. We're going to get there. We're gonna five get minutes. There. All right. So what do you want to do? Do you want to open up with a, a dance piece? Or do you want to set that up? Maybe Lorraine the or Amanda. The first dance lesson. You can call it the wedding dance. You can call it which we really love doing. You can call it what we're calling it today, the first date. But the actual curriculum we teach, it's going to be the same. So uh, heads off, I've got two teachers ready. Okay. Are you ready to take the first dance lesson? I'm going to, who, we I'm don't have to call it a date. Yes, we're no, going to do it. We're going to do it. People. You're going to do it. Just say yes. There's You're no, going to do it now? There's no mouse traps involved. I think he's nervous. There's no electric bicycles involved. All it is is my feet. The last time I did an exercise with Dawn, I cracked an elbow. Before that, you got a mouse trap. And you you're going to learn to in my hand. Well, this, so we'll this lesson today. may not even exceed your capable skills at the moment. <laughs> I yeah. call them kinesthetic DNA because you're just going to learn to walk forward, backward, rock, how to hold the girl, how to make a basic weight change. I can see a broken bone. We're going to go to commercial break. Yeah. We're going to switch the camera around. Rhonda and Jackie and even Linda can come up here and take over the mics for a few minutes. Whatever you want. We got this. <laughs> Stay tuned. We are live at Delray Ballroom. We'll chit chat with Amanda and we'll be right back natural ingredients and providing a safe alternative method for relief from many symptoms, creating a healthier lifestyle without the use of opioids. Use hemp mocha products for improved mental health and overall well-being. It's safe, legal, and non-psychoactive. Our pure and high-quality CBD is from clean industrial hemp, then extracted slowly over days to produce the strongest and most effective products on the market made in the U.S. with no synthetic ingredients. Committed to bringing our customers the highest grade CBD oil on the market. Our industrial hemp, it's organic with no solvents and pesticides, gluten-free, vegan, full spectrum and third-party double lab tested. Our top priority is your health and wellness and we are confident you will love our products and the amazing relief so you can enjoy the things you love to do. Try our products and start living a healthier lifestyle Hemp Boca. Good health and good sense are two of life's greatest blessings. If a tree falls in the woods and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Have you ever felt that your voice goes unheard? And you think that you can make a difference if only someone would just listen? It's time for women in business to have a place to step into your power. 
a platform to embrace your hopes, dreams, and your visions. A voice to heal and restore. Your voice can make a difference. We have the platform to share your story and let your voice be heard. Be kind to yourself. Give yourself the chance to be heard and shine bright. Contact New Dawn Media by texting CAFE to 80800. That's C-A-F-E to 80800. Has a tremendous reputation for quality, service, and very competitive pricing for all of your travel needs. As a cruise planner's travel advisor, Paul Vadiano will help you discover exciting adventures around the world, from cruises to land tours and completely packaged vacations. Paul specializes in all types of travel and will create an unforgettable vacation, wedding, or event just for you. Find Paul at www.cruiseoptics.com, on Facebook, or by phone at 561-232-2626. We make your travel dreams come true. Sometimes you need to shake things up a bit to be a little adventurous, to make your meals pop. Don Pablo Coffee Growers and Roasters have that special ingredient, that little bit of adventure in a bottle to take your dinner to the next level. So take a leap and try one of Don Pablo's fresh roasted specialty coffee meat rubs on your beef, chicken, or pork. You'll never go back to boring again. Go ahead, rub it on your meat. Specializes in finding the best alternative laser therapy treatments for your painful conditions. Do you suffer with chronic pain, a post-traumatic injury, or simply looking for the benefits of cell rejuvenation to the skin? Schedule a consultation today to understand how photobiomodulation can help reduce your symptoms, reduce or even eliminate pain. Give us a call today, 561 561- 405-9577. We focus on treating you who has a disease, not a disease that defines who you are. Contact Carmen Care Laser Therapy today, 561-405-9577 or CarmenCareLaser.com. Sexy, seductive, and beautiful. Looking for a professional and talented photographer? Danielle Bujan specializes in capturing flirtatious and tasteful images for yourself or your partner. Located in South Florida, Danielle really knows how to bring out your inner beauty on a shoot. Visit her website at www.daniellebuljan.com or call her at 561-305-2241 to capture your most desirable moments. Ferro Law Firm, standing up to corporate bullies, using innovative, aggressive, and effective strategies to resolve disputes effectively and timely. Contact us at 954-252-9818, online at ferrolawfirm.com, and on Facebook at Ferro Law Firm. We look forward to being of service to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching the Brooklyn Cafe, where every day is a new adventure. If you'd like to join Dawn and Freddie S. at the cafe, give them a call at 888-565-1470, toll free. Come on in for a cup of coffee or call to share a thought for the day and get all the information you need to help your business grow. Don't forget, sharing is caring, and to like this video, let's... And welcome back to the Brooklyn Cafe TV. I'm not Dawn and this isn't Freddie. I'm Jackie and this is Rhonda. And we are here with Amanda. We are here at the Delray Ballroom in 5850 West, West Atlantic. Atlantic Avenue in Delray Beach, Florida. So I'm here with Amanda and I'm getting a little bit to know with her. Something that's interesting, she was a radio personality and then she kind of went into dance. So give me some background on that. What got you into dance? Well, I think it was entertainment and I like mm-hmm. to be around people so I already worked in radio and I was at a part-time job in Miami and I needed work I was 18 and you know yeah. you kind of pick up opportunities where they come become available and dancing sounded great I knew salsa and I saw an ad in the newspaper that said 
uh, you know, we'll train you how to do the waltz. And I came and I fell in love with it. So that's incredible. Yeah. That just goes to show, I think, for anybody that it's never too late. And because I think that for people who haven't been born into dance, get intimidated really easily. Well, you know, what? it's also, you know, what we're taught. Like, I never thought I would be a dancer. I right. Didn't, I didn't dance grow up or growing up. So uh -huh. I, this is like crazy. That this is my reality now. But most of the time, people do ballet, tap, jazz. They mm -hmm. hit 18 years old and then they're done. They spend their right. entire lives dedicated to that, and then the real world hits, which is really kind of depressing. Uh -huh. um, but you know, it's it's really amazing because people can pursue their dreams later. Um, you see it all the time, but for example, my husband and, and Alec has examples of this as well. They have people that start in their 50s and their 60s, right, and you're still right. beautiful and physically so capable, right. you know. 50 is not 50 is not what 50 was like my grandparents no. or 60 right. or 70 50 is hot 60 is hot and sexy and empowered especially now so it's like if you really do it you can become amazing you just Absolutely. need to put forth um, the same effort as you did when you were a kid. You Absolutely. went to practice. You were consistent. You were persistent. You, you know, you didn't expect immediate gratification. You were yep. open-minded to going through that process. So, Her we see a lot of people at like, m and usually it, people come in here. Sorry, this is long. Um, they come in here when they have the time and they have the money. Yeah. You know, so people put their whole lives off to take care of their kids or work or whatever, and now they have time and they're later in their lives and they find out that they can achieve those dreams. So it's it's pretty amazing, really. Right. So right. How, how often do beginners come in when they start? How often? Okay. Well, the magic number at a minimum is twice a week. Okay. Um, but if that's, you're still, that's still good. I mean, uh, people go to the gym three, two time, two to three times a week. Right. And I mean, this is kind of like the same thing. You get to release. You get to relax. You get to totally learn something it's like, different. It's like therapy, but cheaper right. and like way more fun. Right. Do right. they do they typically come alone, or they find someone when they come to? the studio to dance with both everybody has a different situation so people want to I mean what else can you do that you can really connect with your partner I mean I see so many couples that like the husband plays golf the wife does tennis they no, go absolutely I mean we, we love going out and having dinner we're in a, like a very great area for that but like how many bottles of wine and dinners can you eat right you know what I mean so like and sometimes we do like a little combo or I mean what else do you do that you really dedicate working it out with your partner yep this is so unique in that way. So it's good for partners, sorry. No, and you're it's, okay. And it's great for singles because how many people want that and they want to be able to engage, they want to be Definitely. able to pursue their dreams and they want to dance because it's awesome. Definitely. It's sexy, it's empowering, it's 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 wonderful, um, but they're like, I can't do it because I don't have a partner. We ha That's what we provide for people. So. Yeah. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Because yeah. then I was even thinking, even adding with what you said, how, how much can you really go out to dinner? How many bottles of wine can you drink? I was thinking about that literally on the way over here. I was like, right. wow. Whenever I'm like really having a date night, it always involves going out. It it's always like involves having a glass of wine or <laughs> no three. pasta, please. No, <laughs> really. Like and it's like it, yeah. this is something productive. You can yeah. wake up early in the morning and still go about your day and you could feel close to your partner and you would have something that you share. That's absolutely incredible. Now, what what this is the it's true. It's the best. The only thing is you have to come in here and you have to know that you have to put forth effort. Um, right. You know, it doesn't work for everybody. It mm -hmm. works for most people, but um, it's not it's not easy. You have to put forth the effort, like I said, but it's like, I can't do your push-ups for you. You have to come yeah, in. Yeah, absolutely. And, but that's the most gratifying way to know that you put the effort in, you put the time in, and then you have that skill. You have that right. for yourself. So. And, and in dancing, most of the time, the male leads, right? So it's also giving that up. The female has to give that up and let the man lead. Well. Correct? <laughs> Well, you see struggles with that. <laughs> well, I do see struggles with that. I see struggles. Okay, so there's no true, and I'm gonna have actually. I think that Alec is gonna give you a great explanation of lead and follow. There's no true lead and follow. It's really an even, give and take. There's an ebb and flow, but it is common to see that the guys are like already uncomfortable because society is, doesn't necessarily okay. say, "Hey, guy, go and dance." It's it's, it's already completely out of their comfort zone. Yeah. Where as women, we can go out and, you know, have a drink and feel sexy even if we're right. terrible. So th there's already that in your mind. And a lot of times the women don't give the guy the space or the opportunity to step in the role and really, you know, contribute. So we do have to say, hey, step back, let him do it. Right. You know, until and I he can think, step up, up to the plate. I think even for myself, I've always been very independent where I, like, right. I'll find a struggle with that where I'm like trying to show my boyfriend no do this this way and he's like no right. you, you know can what? try you to say it as nice it. as you want you yeah. can try to say it as yeah. nice as you want but it, this is just it gives both of you both partners feeling powerful feeling like they're accomplishing something um 
different in their own mind. It creates balance. You know, yes. it really, the way you see someone dance is the way that they interact and do everything else. So if that's you see so that the great. woman is overpowering and, and really stepping on the man, that's probably the way they communicate verbally too or in their relationship. So you can- Great indicator, huh? Totally. I mean, I could go to somewhere, anywhere in the world and not speak the same language. I can go to Japan and dance with somebody and I know the type of person they are. So mm -hmm. it that's goes incredible. so, it's really, yeah. it's another language in itself. So how did you get that advanced where you can just pick that up? Well, you dance, I mean, ask Alec Lazo, anybody, you're in this every day, you really become right. very sensitive to that. Right. So, and, and um, I think they're gonna get into to some like just key things, but when you're around it, you, you know, you kind of figure that out. But mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's totally related and it's, it's, a, it's like an easier, more fun, just way to kind of relax. You relax and just kind of attack those things that right. all of us struggle with, all of us have to learn and go through, you know. Yeah, absolutely. So you, you didn't meet your husband through dance, but you guys started picking it up. Oh, I did. I did. Oh, I did. did oh, yes, oh. I did. He's a wonderful dancer, um, but I met him in a competition, I think, 12 years ago, and I was not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. She wanted to leave. That's how it usually happens, <laughs> though, right? <laughs> yes. I met him on a dance. It was in Miami, and uh, yeah, a friend of us, a mutual friend um, introduced us, but I just was not impressed. He was like way too into himself, you know. Oh my God. Guys that can well, dance, yes. And then, you know, I kind of did some things on my own and I came back and we were reintroduced. And were you a better dancer when you were reintroduced? Is that why no, it worked No, I out? think I beat him on the <laughs> dance floor when we met. So it had nothing to do with that. I think that time, uh, you know, humility came with a little bit of time for him. Dance brings humility. Not, no, not for men, not typically. No. Okay. <laughs> Age does. Age, Age does that. <laughs> he, I think he. <laughs> You know, you guys, guys own the studio topic. together, correct? Yes, yes. Oh, that's so. incredible. So you own the Delray Ballroom? Yes. Okay. So what is the correlation with the Paramount Dance Studios? So we have our own kind of thing that we do here, and we have our own students and teachers, but we do, um, we share the space and rent space out to a couple of our friends. Uh, Paramount Ballroom happens to be one of them. He does a lot of coaching for us, so, okay. you know, I'll dance with somebody or, or teach students, but sometimes to have somebody else say it in a different way is very, very helpful. And, and in and out of dance, so right. we use him. He's a wonderful coach. Um, he really knows his stuff. And so we, we use him a lot for that. Well, Dawn and Freddie are getting one-on-one -on -one dance lessons with the guy himself. Dawn is loving this. See, and Freddie is not in the lead, it looks like. No, but you know what's the funny thing about this? If um, He's uncomfortable not being uncomfortable. Because guys go in there and they think it's going to be terrible. It's like, I don't want to touch a guy. But we do this. It's so perfect. I mean, we do this all the time. He has a really great way of just making right. the, you know, just making people feel comfortable and say, look, it's very simple. And making it... Um, you know, get, uh, creating attainable goals. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that what we discussed before, it's all about the confidence within yourself to be good on the dance floor. I think that, I mean, I know a lot of people that say that they do things when they're going through stuff and everything, but I think that it, it's a release and you yes. gain so much more than just a dance move. Listen, people come in because they want the dance move, but what they truly want at like a core level is they want to become what, it's not the dancing, it's what you become as a dancer. Right. You know, become confident, like you said, you you have that release. Right. You really become a more evolved version of yourself. Absolutely. So I agree I with that 100%. I, and I grew up around dancers my entire life, and I was oh, yeah? always, I was always somewhat envious that I, you know, they yeah. they they present themselves differently. Oh, it's amazing, yes. It's like a non-cocky way, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a really, Graceful. It's graceful too. Yep. It's classy. It's beautiful. It's confident. Um, it's like energetically very powerful. Absolutely. Sure. I think everybody can benefit from this. Yeah. What kind of programs do you have for, let's say, individuals who have Parkinson's or arthritis? Do you have specific programs that help? Well, we don't have. I don't necessarily. Um, I don't necessarily have a certain program titled for someone with Parkinson's, but we do with open arms welcome people um, with dementia, mm -hmm. with Parkinson's because. We all need connection and physical touch, mm -hmm. and it's just proven in so many right, ways that it's right. beneficial for s and more than just that. I mean, yeah. it's physical what kind of touch milestones do you see after someone's been dancing for a while that comes in maybe with dementia? What do you, what do you see? Do they? I, I definitely see, especially with consistency, I see um, improved cognitive functioning. I mean, firsthand, mm -hmm. I've noticed this, where mm -hmm. people coming out and they're kind of lost, and then they're mm -hmm. kind of arguing about lessons, mm -hmm. and then we just really try to be patient. I mean, there's a, there are a lot of retirement communities around here, so we see people that are retired and ready to have a good time. Right. Mm -hmm. We cater to them, and then people that do need help, and we try to be very cognizant and understanding of those people. And I've seen people, like, really turn around. I have, um, and even physical, um, 
physical injuries. There was a woman that dances with my husband, and I know that mm -hmm. Alec has plenty of experience with this too. She was a competitive dancer up in the Northeast, and something happened. She still doesn't know what happened, but she passed oh. out driving her minivan. It went through the front of a bank. Oh my God. She, her ankles and feet were crushed. So she yeah. had pins. I mean, her, she had to have her wow. whole ankles, like the, her knee down, just reconstructed. So she hobbles in here and she has the, like those crutches that attach to your yeah, elbows. Right, right. And I see people like, oh, what is she doing here? Like, just really like yeah. judgmental. And I'm like, okay, joke's on you. As soon as you hear the swing, or the samba, like she's just hopping around. I'm like, whoa, they just freeze people crutches? out. Well, it's like, have you seen, they have all these videos like viral on YouTube and Facebook now, like where you see like old men that can't walk and then all of a sudden you hear the swing and yeah. it brings them back right, to their youth. Right. And all of a sudden the spirit hits them, right? And it just, exactly, and it just picks them up. It lifts them right up. So there is something magical like to it. I even just had that conversation with my boyfriend the other day. I said, you know, the feeling that I got when I was doing whatever I was running, and I was like, it felt like, you know, when you listen to a song that you used to know and you find this feeling and mm -hmm. it brings you to a different place and you just feel motivated on euphoric. another level. Yeah. Euphoric, that one absolutely. point focus that athletes talk about. Oh, right? yeah. 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 That's incredible. And this is, it's, it is incredible, but like you can't share, like you can do, you can love yourself as much as you want. You right. can take care of yourself, go to the gym, eat everything organic. But the one thing that you cannot give yourself is human connection, and this Absolutely. is what makes it very yeah, different. That's true. You can you can get a runner's high all you want, but if you yeah. you know dancing is that, and especially now we're so into our phones. You know, people yes. are watching from their phones yeah. right now or on the internet, whatever, yes, which is yes. great. It's like amazing because we've been yeah. able to connect with so many people in a different way. But but you need we're a still disconnect. We're, you need a disconnect. And well, you need a you need a real like person to person Absolutely. belly to belly connect. So. Absolutely. Do you so, have any programs for kids that you do? With we do. We have dancing? a lot of, we have, we have right now it's a private, um, but we're looking at doing maybe some more camps or camp kind of stuff over the summer. It's not completely worked out, but. So when you talk we, about obsession with technology and not uh, connecting with a human, of course, our younger generations are facing that. They just did a show a couple they, of days ago addressing the issue with overuse of technology um, and how kids can't relate. Yeah, they, it's a total, and, and you know what, it's a social deficit right now, and it affects kids emotionally, you know, because that's what we need. You see it now with, with just, like, depression rates and, like, such oh, young children, yeah. and, and you see how kids, like, I don't eat my daughter's four. She's so wild. She's a dancer, too. But I see I give her the tablet, and it's so easy because you don't have to micromanage your kid right. yeah. when you're at a restaurant, but then I turn it off, and she's, like, meltdown. She's like, yeah. Right, and I said, well, we can't do this. You're not yeah. ready for that. So, we're you know, we're actually working on a program right, right. now. Mm -hmm. I know Alec takes kids on right now. No. We're, we're working on something because it's definitely something that people need. It, it is, sure. Yeah. Dawn and Freddie are stealing my attention now. They want us to dance, but I'm not going to dance. I want to see what you guys learned. Right, absolutely. They want you to watch them. Yeah, you are going to dance. So we're going to turn the camera around and we're going to focus on Dawn and Freddie dancing. All right, Freddie. <laughs> Pressure's on. <laughs> forward left I don't know <laughs> like, he, what he's doing let me help out with this he's helping and he, what he's doing is he's helping the guy right now he's talking in his direction so he's saying forward left he's gonna start going forward on his left foot so that's important because kind of like you were saying you would have that the women typically have this initial urge to kind of back lead they're not always right but they have this intuition that they got to get the dance going yep so what Alec is doing is he's helping the guy he's trying to keep the guy focused on his step so what he can do I saw it you were that was wonderful that was very fast but he's helping. that was good that was very good that was fast replay <laughs> we're hiring hosts um, Teddy's up dancing all right, guys, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to see Rhonda, we're going to see Teddy, and we're going to see Dawn still out on the dance floor, so we don't know what we're going to see yet. We'll be right back, guys. Thank you. The way you live your life says a lot about you. The way you choose to commemorate your lifetime can say even more. It's a single event that speaks volumes. So how do you celebrate a life? Dignity Memorial Providers believe that your memorial service should be as unique as you are, reflecting your personality and your passions. 
It should be a perfectly tailored send-off, a fitting tribute for family and friends to celebrate the person they love. We're professionals at catering to your every need, right down to the catering. In fact, no detail is too small. So when it comes time for a fitting tribute, we'll see that your final wishes are beautifully fulfilled. It's what Dignity Memorial providers are known for. And why you should rely on us to see that your life is well celebrated. Celebration of a lifetime begins here. Welcome a new sponsor to the show. It's Amp2 TV, the first and only internet production company that's truly plugged in. When you're looking for a full service internet TV radio production company, discover Amp2 TV, a full service production company that can provide all streaming videos in studio or remotely. They offer web page development. And they use all the latest platforms to help make all your business selling points more powerful. They can do remotes or live radio streaming as well as tape productions for social media platforms and television. Amp2 TV can handle all of your television needs, including closed caption for a perfect on-air telecast. Choose from a variety of creative TV and radio packages or visit one of their many studios to get your creative juices flowing. Come and see why Amp2 TV works with many major companies, including Comcast, Bravo, and Fox 29, as well as individuals and businesses of all types and sizes. To see samples of their work or to find out more, visit their website at amp2.tv. That's A-M-P, the number 2.tv, or call them at 866-224-5422. Feel free to call for a quote or just a consult of how to put your business on a social media platform or radio platform or just doing a show that is covered by all platforms. Call 866-224-5422 and make an appointment. That's 866-224-5422. Do you want to enhance your love life with flowers? Rejuvenate love, life, health with flowers from Blossom Moments. Weekly deliveries to your home, your business, hospital, or even senior centers. Give us a call at 561-951-6343. Blossom Moments could also coordinate your wedding or event. Contact Blossom Moments at bmgevents.net. For all of your floral event needs, large or small, call Blossom Moments. 561 Nine five one six three four three, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching the Brooklyn Cafe, where every day is a new adventure. If you'd like to join Dawn and Freddie S at the cafe, give them a call at 888-565-1470, toll free. Come on in for a cup of coffee or call to share a thought for the day and get all the information you need to help your business grow. Don't forget, sharing is caring, and to like this video, let's reopen the cafe doors now. Back to Dawn and Freddie S. Oh, welcome a new spot. Back. And we are back at the Brooklyn Cafe Show. Wow, this is absolutely so amazing. I gotta thank you, Freddie, because it was so much fun. You got a little nervous. I can't believe how nervous you are over no, I didn't dancing. Get, no, I didn't get nervous. I didn't get nervous. I, you know, it's just, I, I, I got to be in the mood. You got to go back, right, over, left, front, left, over, right. I know, it's the switching of the weight thing that gets a little complicated. I, I always have a problem switching backwards. Like, I'm supposed to be on weight on my right and move back on my left. I, I just, I even, when I used to dance, always had that one move. And I knew he was going to expose it. I'm like, oh, here we go. So you can see where Hector's going to switch cameras over, and you can see that Alex, they're doing a group class with Teddy and Rhonda, Wayne, Linda, and, of course, Chewy is here as well, the dog. 
<laughs> and this is a group class. Is that dog alive? Is he the moving? The dog is oh, unbelievable. Dog is but talk about how much fun this is, right? We've it been is. here. It's not even been an hour. You and I have been up there, and now the crew says, I, they want to get up there and go. Look, Michelle, look at you Teddy's getting as into well. it. Michelle's not, she's not. You want to go anymore. dance with them wanna also? Why don't you come up here? Well, come and sit with well, us come and then. sit with us then. You might as well do She's something, your yeah. surprise guest, by the way. Yeah, I know she was. I How figured, you like that? I, I couldn't. I couldn't bombard Just you. Just don't but. bring any cards. Otherwise, <laughs> you're good to go. The numerology, and then Wayne will join us as well afterwards. Because it's really funny that they're here together. Look, Teddy likes to dance. Teddy, how do you like it? You having fun? Yeah. It's a lot of fun, right? Yeah. Where you going, lady? But you know, this is the reason why it is fun for a first date because it just melts away all the anxiety, except for men. I don't men, know what I happened. Tell you. What's wrong with you guys? I mean, because I'm trying to play the cool? part. Of, no, play the part of of on a date. Guys have to be nervous. They, oh, is that what part you're playing? Yeah. Oh, is that what that was? That's what that was. Oh, that was really good acting then. Did you like it? I liked it. That was pretty impressive. I, I, I sure would. <laughs> Cheryl, I she should. help me up <laughs> She's hilarious. What's the matter? You can't get on the chair? Get on the chair. Get your microphone. <sighs> Linda is a natural. Well, here's the other amazing thing. Linda Summers, I don't know if many of you know, but Linda has limited movement on one side. Chewy is her service dog. Wait a dog. minute, wait a minute. And look at put, her. Put the camera on Linda. One limited what? She moves better than I do. What are you kidding she me? She does move better than you. Can I have the dog? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at this. <laughs> she's keeping the dog, but she's good. Look at that. She has more balance than anybody. So this is a group class, which is amazing. Wayne, everybody's writing in. They can't believe you're actually doing this, Wayne. And she just flows. But look how much fun this is, right? But this is what it's all about, is getting out and having a good time. I'm going to take dance. I used to do ballet. Did you? Years ago, yeah. Years ago. Does it bring back memories? Now, Amanda was just up here with the girls. Amanda is the owner. I didn't even get to meet Amanda. She's going to do a, gla a class in a few minutes. So thank you to Jackie and Rhonda for filling in. It's nice that we had some fill-ins while you and I were learning to dance. I had a little bit of I a didn't few break minutes any, any step on you because Alec gave me like 10 minutes of a dance before you. I know. I didn't, I didn't break any bones this time. And you're here, and you're still here. And Hector's running the board, and they're all having a good time. Manuel, you want to go dance? Yeah. <laughs> He's going to edit. No, but you got to stay in the camera. But he got you. He got you in some new B-roll. We've got some new pieces coming out. But this is how they do a group class. And I love the fact that Linda has Chewy with her. I can't believe I, that Linda can stand straight. The dog was following the steps. I just want to He's tell you. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chewy was following. Let's see if we got Chewy following. One, two, three. <laughs> Linda's hilarious. Yeah. Linda can actually dance. Of course yeah. she can. I mean, you're good. I thought you had no balance. I think she, that dog is an excuse. Yeah. I'm really, taking that dog home. And Alec and Wayne. Look at Wayne. Wayne can bring his wife here. But look, it makes everyone smile and laugh. And isn't that what it's all about? That's is having what it's fun. About. Yeah. It's getting out of your comfort zone and having fun. And that's exactly what it is. There's no, there's no more fun than, than, than just dancing and having a good time with people, you know, sharing energies, laughing at yourself. Jackie ran out of here because she had to go to work. But she did a great job filling in. But look at Teddy can barely stand waiting. She wants to just I dance. I know, because look at it's her. a look lot of fun. Look at Teddy go. For Teddy to get up from her chair, it's a lot of fun. Hey, Manuel, <laughs> Manuel, why don't you go up there so they have another <laughs> male. I'll take care of the camera. Go ahead. Just stand there. Don't worry. It ain't going to bite you. Come on. This is good for you. Manuel's going to. There you go. Now we got three and three. There you go. Manuel, get next to Alec. We got another guy, yeah. which is amazing. So would you take dance? We've got Michelle Landers with us, and Michelle was going to join us last week when I had to, we had to cancel the show because I wasn't feeling well and yeah. had to come back this week. Mm -hmm. Now, Michelle, the funny thing is when you did my chart a couple months ago, right? I remember I told you I was so upset and so concerned. Yeah. Well, a lot of things happened in a month since we saw you in six weeks. I know. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing now that we're on the other side of it. And, and going through it, all I could do was keep thinking of you and keep oh, thinking of the chart. Well. And the funniest thing was, one of the things in my chart said, a new appreciation for life and death. 
So of course, when you hear that, what do people do? They panic and go, oh my gosh, who's going to pass away, I God know, forbid, that, right? Right, right. Well, Wayne with Dignity Memorial came to us two days later and signed a contract. Oh. You know so, what Dignity Memorial yeah, is, right? <laughs> All right. So <laughs> is that like the creepiest, freakiest <laughs> thing you've ever heard? 600 <laughs> locations in North America, and Dignity Memorial is now a new client of ours. Oh, wow. And so many things have happened since we met Wayne because he's been promoted to market, regional marketer, uh, head of regional marketing. Yeah. He's brought yeah. in all his VPs and everything else. We're actually going to be doing a, a show. location in the first week in December at one of their locations. Amazing. I mean, he's changed my outlook on this whole procedure about everything. And I just lost dad four months, three months ago. You, I lost my father. I'm so sorry. I'm so and sorry. And he has changed my perspective on everything. So this life and death thing, it really, you have to be more specific, very deep. <laughs> well, you know, I would love to, but then I would have to charge $1,000 to do a chart. But or you're worth 2, it. But you know something you're worth. Well, you're, that's sweet. That's really sweet of you to say that. And it's pretty amazing, right, yes. how the charts are um, so... Uh, well, they're not always like specific down to the day thing because, again, for me to do that kind of a chart takes so much time. I do the charts by hand. It's not something that, you know, I plug it into the computer and the computer spits out the answers for me. So that's why it's, it's the way it is. But they are telling and it's, it's a way to navigate through life, right? Isn't it something that helps you navigate, helps you know what's coming down the road? It was so just you can remarkable. be prepared. And but you, I had to change my perspective. This is the two death cards I pulled. You pulled that with Suzanne, but look, that happened as well. Well, what's... Oh. I pulled two death cards. We're going to have oh. Suzanne come next. I had to it's cancel her also. It's kind of scary about the changes in life but and everything else. That's what, true changes, right? Right, but it was two changes. I pulled two death cards, and there's you only one in the deck. You did two changes, though. And I had two changes, yes. Yeah. So it's about perception. Yes. It's about how you look at it. It was nothing to do with my health or anything else. But the right. change came. People go and positive. there right away, though. People like yes. when I, like you yes. said, which I totally understand. And I'm trying to think of different ways I can say it because people do go there right away. And I understand that because when I first learned about numerology, that's what I did. I went to the worst case scenario and used to call up my mentor all the time. What's happening here? But, you know, I learned. It's And that was the amazing thing. And when that happened, and actually when Wayne came on, he also had someone else working with a new pasta company made from artichokes, um, parts of palm, and parts it's called palm. Natural Heaven. Oh. So Dignity Memorial product. and great. Natural Heaven, Heaven sat on oh, set with wow. us, and all I could do was think of you and said, God, you are funny because <laughs> it's a total change of perspective, right? Yeah, yeah. Different perspective of life and death is what you wrote. I did. And that Dignity Memorial and Natural Heaven Pasta was exactly a different perspective oh, of that life and death. Oh, that is so funny. Yeah, the, the bottom line is that there are no coincidences. There's always a blueprint. If you read the signs, you end up on the right journey. Right. And the changes that we've been going through, and I'm going to tell you, it's been tough. You know, Dawn got sick in the middle of all these changes that we've had to do. I'm not going to say one thing had nothing to do with the other because, you know, no, only God I think, knows. I think the stress definitely caused me. There's but, no doubt. But it's a fantastic um, journey that we're on. And here we are here. And do, what a way to end the week. The kids are having fun. Everybody's having fun. Do you guys want to do this, Hector? Do you want you me want to, to take dance board? And Freddie will take board. You want me to take the board? You sure? I can. I can sit with Michelle, and you can take the board. It's up to you. If you want to go, Anya, you want to dance? All right. <laughs> Freddie's gonna. <laughs> Freddie's gonna take the board. Michelle, you and I are gonna sit here. Yay! And uh, Amanda's dancing right now. We're wow. good. I'm happy chit-chatting with Michelle. Yeah. Unless Michelle wants to go up and dance too. Oh no, 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 <laughs> no. Another time, I would. I mean, I love to dance. I really do. Okay. But it's um, a totally a different perspective, and now I want to go back and read the chart, my chart again. Well, you have. Okay, hey, I'm not reaching for that. I'm it's sorry. Okay. I'll get my wand. <laughs> I've never dropped my wand. It's because Michelle's sitting oh, here. Oh, you dropped your but wand. But it's a totally a different perspective when you look at things. And you had said it's going to be, a, and you warned me. You said this year is going to be a year of a lot of work. Right. But it's going to come. And we've, thank you. Sweet. And we've had a lot of work. And at the end of it, which is why we're having our friends giving on Wednesday, because it's been a lot of work, oh. but it's going to be spectacular when it, it is. all comes through. It's it. a foundational year for you, and that's which you I said. said. It's a found. It's it's a great time to set new foundations, and when you set set things, 
when you create things um, in a four year, they have a tendency to be there for a long, long time, four year and a one year. So that's great. So, so I guess you could say you understand how having the chart can help you, right? Yes, it can it, help it guide you. you. But the one thing who's ever watching when you call Michelle for your chart, go in with an open mind and don't panic. <laughs> <laughs> because I thought, oh, it's all going to be like rainbows and unicorns, and it's all going to be great. Right. She's going to say, yes, yes, everything's wonderful, but you know what? You really have to go in with an open, Excuse me. An open mind, an open sure. perspective. And now that we're on the other side of Mercury retrograde, and we're on the other side of all our changes, oh, wow, we sit yeah. back and we look at it and go, you know what? It's been a lot of work, but wow, what God has blessed us with when you come see our new space. Oh, God. And it was really just one of those things, and someone said, how did you find this space? And I said, God. Yeah. I mean, this space had gone unrented for 20 plus years. And, oh, and so we you're found it where we are. It's been sitting you're empty. Yes? I want to I want, I want so invite just people wait. to come on down here. I and mean, we got everybody out here. I want everybody who's watching to come on down, say hi. How sweet is that? And come take a lesson. I mean, this is like, they look like they're having a whole lot of fun over here. They are. It's so much fun. Hey, come on down. <laughs> you too. <laughs> With those shoes you got. I'm going to come out there. Okay. i got to get Michelle down off the chair, though, first. No. you got to watch it, because if you get her down off the chair, she's going to hurt us. So just yeah, leave really. it there. You come. Yeah, let's, let's be Very gentle. Nice. You guys having let's, fun? Let's stay here and chit-chat. Can you uncross your legs? There um, you go. That's better anyways, balance. Anyway, so I'm excited I know, but for that's you guys scary. with the new... You want to come? You coming over here? I'm good. We're chatting. We're chit-chatting. How can people find you? Oh, um, Michelle, M-I-C-H-E-L-E, Landers, L-A-N-D-E-R-S, dot com. My new website is up, finally, so I'm excited about that. And when people are looking for numerology, what are they looking for? Why would they contact you? Well, you know what I find that most of the time people um, are are having some kind of a challenge in their life of some type, and they want some direction. And they do that either through the numerology or, you know, I'm also, you know, board certified life coach. Okay. So sometimes people want to do that together, you know, the coaching and the uh, numerology. And I do hypnosis as well. So oh, wow. anyway, to answer your, your question, I find that the people who contact me are at either in a transition, some type of transition in their life, uh, and they want some answers. And... I think the numerology and the coaching can provide it. Because what do we want? We all want to be happy, right? Absolutely. That's what we're going for. And be a little prepared of what's going on. I love it. They're moving all over the floor, so I had to move the camera. But this is a very dangerous wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the things that I want to do is I want to do uh, at the new uh, theater, I want to do high top chairing, but it can't swivel. Now I know why you don't swivel chairs. Why you don't swivel? They're having so much fun out there. They are. They're laughing up a storm. Isn't that what it's all about? That we keep saying it over and over again, but it's really just remarkable. It's a lot of fun. You come on down, and you have a lot of fun. Come. I didn't even get to talk to you. Pick, come pick up a, a, a microphone. You got all four of us in there, Hector. All four. And this is Amanda. I want to is turn it Amanda? Light around on them. Amanda, no, you can't. That's Hi, Amanda. Hello. Okay. Um, and Amanda, you're the mm -hmm. owner of the facility. I am one of the owners. My husband Chris and I own the Delray Ballroom. Beautiful nice, facility. Really now, you, beautiful. You have this one and one next door on either side, or or is it just this room? It's it's just this room. It's a nice size room. It's but, a um, nice size room. It's I huge. Hate, and they say you rent it's this out as well. It's yeah. a ballroom. It's a ballroom. Ball it's a real ballroom. It's a real ballroom. Events, all of it. So, yeah, we it's pretty versatile. So we do dancing and all that, which is how Alec and I are connected because we mm. don't let everybody in here. Just really awesome dancers like Alec. <laughs> right. um, Look wow. at you. has got Teddy and Anya. Listen, there's enough man to go around. He can handle more than that. Look at that. <laughs> I, I don't know if Teddy and Anya can handle it. Has they knock into no, each I'm other? No, I swear. <laughs> I, I had a lesson. Actually, I was dancing with um, Alec, and no matter what level dancer you are, the top in the world, you still get coaching because it's so valuable to get Absolutely, expertise, yeah, everything on yeah. the outside. So Alec's dancing with me. Then there's this other, like, hot Russian kid, right? And it's like two guys and I'm in the middle. I'm like, I can't do this. It's like way too much. It was just too much. There's nothing like there's nothing hotter than a guy that can dance. Oh, there's nothing I, hotter than I, a I woman agree. Look, you're going exactly one step right? in the right direction. Nice you job, can, Teddy. There is so much power in a man that can dance. Yeah, there is. You can is. be broke, you can be ugly. You could be 
Amanda, why don't you just tell us how you really feel? It's just so <laughs> sexy. If you have all the other things in line and you can dance, I mean, it is like it's so sexy, sexy right? Sex. Yes. Very. It's just you know, one, one of those sexy one, guy one things. Of the, one of the things that I tried to tell our producers is if you're looking for a date, a, someone to date, bring them dancing oh my for God. the first date. You're and so I'm going to tell you, if you're a guy watching, I guarantee you, if you try, even if you try, think about it. It's like the guy in the, in the park with the puppies. You ever seen the commercial? Yeah. He's giving right. out puppies. And all the women love him. <laughs> right, yeah. Because it says, right. That's adopt exactly the, puppy. the magic, but better. That's what it is, because you are trying something so out of your element. Mm -hmm. you got to give people a lot of credit. I love this ballroom. I love, you know, I love light. So I love being able to see outside. And it's just such a great elegance. feeling here. There's such elegance. There's such elegance. Yeah, here. it's openness. It's like open and airy. And it's yes. just comfortable that way. But it's going back to the whole first date thing, you know, how many bottles of wine? Not that it doesn't go with all this. And how many, mm. like, pasta dinners can you have? You know, right. and like, and, and, and it's... And it's informal. Listen, you have to put in time, so, and you have to put in effort, but if you really want, like, a relationship or a date that, like, pays you back, this is the way to do it. Agreed. I mean, I really, it takes that. effort. It's not hard. I mean, even, it maybe was a little bit awkward, like, on your first lesson, and it, the, the awkwardness, I think, most of the time is not knowing what to expect. Not yes. that it's difficult. Not that you can't do it. Um, and we're trained, Alex trained, to be able to break things down in a way that you can learn it. Just for, just things that you normally do every day. So you, but sharing it with somebody else. And you feel comfortable learning it. Right. That's the whole thing. It's not hard. We're trained at teaching people at the level that they're at. So, you know, they're never going to be overwhelmed or uncomfortable. It should be an enjoyable process. You know what I yeah. love about this, Hector? If you turn the cameras on onto the crew that's dancing is everyone's having a good time. It's not even uncomfortable. You don't think about who you're dancing with. Teddy's dancing with Wayne. Yes. Look and at them. Two of I'll our tell you, producers they're, are they're dancing. not too bad. And, and Teddy wow. loves. She wants to bring her boyfriend here to do this. He's agreed to do it. I mean, the, the bottom line here is, is an activity that's outside the, what you normally do. You know, you could wear a real bad shirt as a guy. You go on a first date, you're done. Right. But you could wear that same shirt and come dancing. It's and different. And all is forgiven. You know what else is it's great forgiven. about this? We've been talking for weeks about doing a team building experience with our crew. I remember. This and is it. And so we never valuable. stopped a day of work to do a team building. But this is, I'm looking at it. Hector, please, if I, we would love, Freddie will run the board and you can go out and do this. If you want to try, if he wants to try. Yeah, absolutely, if you want to, as, as a team building, because it doesn't make a difference. Everyone's dancing with everyone. Girls, guys, Alex dancing with Manuel and teaching him, and everyone's laughing and having fun. And after the couple, right. three weeks we've had of stress, he, this is a whole bunch it's of a change. good stress relief. That's it's right. a lot of fun. And we have, at one time, we had maybe 12 to 14 producers show up now we have the room. We should do a team building piece and come in here and just bring everybody. You know, everybody bring a totally. friend program. Dave and Connor, they'd be hilarious. What about Farrell and uh, Jane and Janine? Jane and Janine. So they would love I'm it. curious. Do you ever get people, you, you get guys who come and, and take Single lessons? guys? Yes. Single guys? Did you ever have anybody get together? From yes, my husband and I, that's one example, we met in the dance floor. Oh Did you? my uh, God. Yeah, you see it all the time. You see people, and they have great relationships. It's yeah. not filled with all the drama, and I mean, you have relationships that are built like with a very solid foundation. That's very special in here. Not you meet someone at a restaurant, drama, he's not listening to me. I mean, all those relationship issues are solved on the dance floor. It's very, it's, really? it's one of those wow. things that's very you hard to explain start unless you're doing it. or something, you know. How Dan did you start counseling through dancing? Absolutely. How did you start a dance studio? Well, um, what do you, were you I always a dancer? Danced, I danced here in, in Boca. Actually, I started my radio career first, and I started dancing. Um, I took it to New York City. My husband's been here dancing for over 20 years. We have a national mm. dance competition that we run. So oh, we're, we, wow. we already do events. So we just thought the natural next step was to, be, to have our place that, yeah, home now, base. talk a little bit about the confidence because you're confident. I mean, you've been a personality on radio and what have you. But sure. some of those kids out there that you're looking at, for them, this is this is out of the box. Anya, very very shy, and she's actually trying. She actually put her phone. Talk down, a little right? bit about <laughs> the confidence that it builds out when you do something like this. You know, there have been studies that um, have been done in the um, public school system in New York City that. They, they introduced ballroom dance to the children and they're able to engage in such a healthy manner. You know, I think a lot of wow. the issues that come is just people just don't know how to connect with each other anymore. So this is certainly a way that mm -hmm. you can baby steps, walk people through the process of being social. But I think for people that are in their box or shy, 
even more so now that social media is such a big thing, which it's amazing, look what it's done for this, but it allows people to have that connectivity through the internet, but you can't forget about belly to belly and just being real and connecting with people and interacting in real life. Like, we can't forget about that. We can only be in the matrix so long, you know? That's like step one, but it does amazing wow. things. Some, you know, you just never know what you're dealing with. Someone may be very confident in speaking. I was a very shy dancer when I started, so, it, it definitely helped me, but I see people that are shy and they could never, never, never do it. But the process of learning lessons, we have um, we have so many events that just they're geared towards helping helping you be the the best version of yourself. And dancing is how they do it. And so all ages, it's amazing. right? It's not just all ages. All ages. listen. I have people um, that started in their 50s and 60s, and they're competing and traveling all over the world. Wow! And like that, these teenage like kids couldn't compete with, you know. But I, I think that the fear for anybody at any age is just getting started and being brave enough to start something that you're going to suck at in the beginning. Because I was just talking to this, you know, everybody here at the group class and they're like, oh my God, you know, I, you know it was so hard or whatever the, the feedback is. But I had to learn the box up. I wasn't good at it. I, I went through everything. But the, the idea is that you're persistent and like you make fun of it. And it's just like a really awesome journey. <laughs> it's an amazing journey. And yeah. look, because you and I went up there, it opened the comfort zone for everyone else to get up That's there. right, because you can't be worse at it than I can. But did you have fun? <laughs> I did have fun, but I just wanted them to see if I can mess up, then it's okay. And we can there's actually no... get you out of your chair to do it. But it's there's pretty no remarkable. judgment. I just want to, to, to understand is that no one's judging you here. Right. Okay, you do this, you get better at I remember my sister taught me to dance when I was younger. Did she? And I was stiff. And she used to say to me, does somebody crazy glue your shoulders together? <laughs> So she used to put me in front of a mirror, just like they're doing over here, and she says, all I want you to do is move your upper body and get it into rhythm. So and you have experience. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Hey, so I did this, sister. and all of a sudden, it turned into a way of life, and my confidence, I was a real shy kid. I'm watching yeah. her move over there. Yeah, but you can, she has great moves. And the more you do it, the more comfortable you're going to feel yep. doing it. And then it begins to spread to other people around you. Right. All of a sudden, you see everybody wants to try because, I mean, that was the whole pitch here. And they all, if I can get out of here, I can get anybody. Yes. That's, that, and that's What's the, the matter, goal. You Everyone quit? is smiling. What's wrong? Tell us where you're located, Amanda. We're, oh, 5850 West Atlantic Avenue, Suite 130. We're in the Peachtree Plaza next to LaRue Furniture, right across the street from 3G's. You can't miss it. We're going to go to a commercial break. Get our crew up. We're going to talk to Wayne a little bit, a little bit more with Michelle, because a lot more. She's stuck in that chair because if you get her off that chair, she's not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. It's a comfortable place. chair. Yeah, Look, but she couldn't. Did. She can't get yeah, out of it. It was difficult to climb up. It was hard for her to get in there. You yeah. need to take dance lessons because people that have physical ailments. I know you guys have to go to commercial break. Yeah. That could be it's something okay. to talk about later. I've helped people through knee problems, hip problems, through through mo yeah. Mo yeah. movement. Through yeah. Yeah. You know, I know that because I used to dance. I used to take ballet for a long time. Yeah, and I was on point, and now for years I haven't, Listen, years and years. Listen, on point, if your posture is slightly off, you feel it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So same thing with walking. You can Love it. Love Stay it. tuned. Love We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll, we'll be right, right back. back. Does your business Moby Pop? A new way to grow your business. Using a simple keyword, drive customers right to you with just a click. Customers will receive your personalized digital business card within seconds with all your contact information in one place, including a gallery of photos, videos, and clear call to action that drives sales. Promote your products and services or share a hot new listing with custom event pages and RSVP form boosting qualified leads. Special offers and promotions are directly sent to your potential customers' phones with text campaigns, increasing foot traffic, and creating a loyal following. Let MobyPop drive your marketing campaign. Focus on your business. Let MobyPop focus on growing it. Boca. Products of purest natural ingredients and providing a safe alternative method for relief from many symptoms, creating a healthier lifestyle without the use of opioids. Use hemp boca products for improved mental health and overall well being. It's safe, legal, and non psychoactive. Our pure and high quality CBD is from clean industrial hemp 
then extracted slowly over days to produce the strongest and most effective products on the market, made in the U.S. with no synthetic ingredients. Committed to bringing our customers the highest grade CBD oil on the market. Our industrial hemp, it's organic with no solvents and pesticides, gluten-free, vegan, full spectrum and third-party double lab tested. Our top priority is your health and wellness and we are confident you will love our products and the amazing relief so you can enjoy the things you love to do. Try our products and start living a healthier lifestyle. Hemp Boca. Good health and good sense are two of life's greatest blessings. If a tree falls in the woods and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Have you ever felt that your voice goes unheard? And you think that you can make a difference if only someone would just listen. It's time for women in business to have a place to step into your power. A platform to embrace your hopes, dreams, and your visions. A voice to heal and restore. Your voice can make a difference. We have the platform to share your story and let your voice be heard. Be kind to yourself. Give yourself the chance to be heard and shine bright. Contact New Dawn Media by texting CAFE to 80800. That's C-A-F-E to 80800. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back here at Paramount Studios. You look pretty good there, buddy. You have fun? Have it. You look pretty. Really? Now you have to bring her dancing. But this is so much fun. Easy to go. The, the, the instructions are fun. The kids are having a ball. Heck, they switch it over to them. Over here. So there you can see what's going on here. Dawn, you got your mic? I do. How you doing? I'm good. I'm getting my workout. I see that. Oh, and look, look, at, look at the ballerina next to you. I thought you said you couldn't dance. Look at her. She's doing great. <laughs> it's good fun. Unbelievable. You get to spin, too? I think that programs like Dancing with the Stars and things like that have really you know, spin. brought, brought you know, know where ballroom they come dancing from. You know, um, <laughs> to younger audiences. But, good, uh, good leadership. One, two, three, it's a good team turn. building yeah. deal as well. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm here we're waiting from Dignity. Now Dignity has something going on. Well, we're doing a lot of uh, discounts now, end of year discount. I love a discount. discounts, yeah. Freddy discount they so, call it. So uh, we've got 15% off uh, any funeral service, uh, cemetery or cremation well, plan. We're uh, good. Now until the 22nd of December, any of our South Florida locations. So. Excellent. And you also sent me a flyer. What's going on with the flyer? Hector, there's a flyer in, in the That's program. That's what that is. And this is the discount? Yeah, so this is the discount, so we're, we're putting this on. This is the 15% as well. It's yeah. here. You see it, Hector? You can salsa put it up on the screen. It's not in there? Freddy, Salsa 101. So, um... 15% discount on yeah, everything. Yeah, we say, you know, this is, the, this is the best gift you can give your family. You know, prearrange your funeral, get that done, and you can concentrate on dancing and okay. living your life, and you know that that's taken care Everything's of. Everything's taken care of. Five, um, six, and all one. we need is, um, you know, a small first payment, and you're set. Everything's and, and then you, go, and you can stretch these payments out for 10 years if your kids are doing it or whatever. What's the on, max? Depending on your age, okay. um, it can be up, up to 10 years. Um, but when we meet, we go through the options. Uh, we can, and we uh, can say you can do a three, five, 10 year plan, and those would be your, your monthly payments. And uh, some people think, you know, One, oh, two, I've got to pay 10%, or I've six. got to <laughs> pay this in full. I'm locking in the price. But, and it's, it's not. It's one when small you payment. And you're, you're locking that in. And right. you're protected from that day. You know, Thank I don't. I have to look <coughs> at the paperwork of my parents in Puerto Rico. They Aww, had a similar plan. Yeah. It was all taken care of when that day came for mom. 
We didn't have to do nothing. Yeah, that's the plan. It was like this. And I was shocked because it had all these bells and whistles that I guess my brother, my sister, and I were paying for. And good, I didn't right? even know. Yeah. I was sending her the money. She never told me what it was for. She wouldn't talk to us about what was going on. And I found the paperwork. I didn't know Dignity was in Puerto Rico. Yeah, we are. Yeah, Puerto Rico and, and Canada. And that's what they use, Queen. Oh. I, can, ah, okay. I cannot believe go. that that's what <laughs> they use. It's all taken care of. There you go. Um, and they went in there. I went in there. I showed the paperwork. I didn't even read it. And everything was taken care of. And everything is beautiful. And then now Dad is laid to rest there as well. I lost track of my legs. A lot of things went we got to get your plan in place, Freddie. Yes. I, I <laughs> do. We've been looking at options there. We're yes. Gonna well, I, I spoke, my, my other son is coming in for Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. And that's when the meeting is going to happen. I see. Because right. I, I got to be able to do you? this with balance. You know, it can't be Freddie on this side. I'm going to do it with you. not part you of go. the idea and the creativity yeah. and all that. So now yeah. that I have the two of them, they're probably going to end up meeting you and everything else, and right. we go from there. Now, the holiday discounts, if you want to make an appointment here, is 561-654-9000. Yep, give me a call, and that's uh, throughout any of our locations. We've got over 30 locations, from West Palm Beach down to Miami. So uh, lots of here in Boca, um, Del Rey, Lake Worth, uh, obviously West Palm, Margate, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. And we're doing a the show place. on the 5th? On the 4th, Fourth. isn't it? Yeah. December 4th. Yep, at our Lake Worth uh, location, so Lake Worth Memory Gardens. It's a, one of our larger funeral homes and cemetery. So we're going to really highlight uh, what we're about, what we can do. We're going to show a celebration of life, how we, we typically the set that up. Um, and then we're going to show you various um, options. They have a lot of options for like cremated remains, inside, outside, <laughs> columbarium, Ooh, there uh, she goes. ossuary. There's all these options we can show kind of give people an idea and think about if you're looking for permanent, permanent uh, place for your resting place for your committed remains or your casket. We've got a lot of options to show you. So if you come on the show December 4th, we're going to be up in Lake Worth? Lake Worth on Cape Kirk Road. On Kirk Road. you have the address? Uh, not in, if not, we'll, not we'll, we'll, we'll get head, it to you because we're going to be doing shows from here to there. Yeah. You come on up and you can talk about Oh, look at dancing shoes. And dancing you can talk shoes. about what's going on in your life. And nobody's asking you to buy anything, but no. you come on up and discuss possibilities. I know my mother and father used dignity in Puerto Rico. Did they? Yes. I looked at the paperwork wow. and everything was taken care of. All I had to do was show the paperwork and it was done, done, and more done. And there are other options that they told me that I could have added on to this. Um, yeah, even though you prearrange doesn't mean that everything's set in stone. You can I didn't always know that. you can always so make I'm changes. Bring you the paperwork and to at, look the, at. at the time, it's an amazing thing because now that that is laid to rest, there are other things you have to do to the stone and all that. And we yes. haven't even done that yet. But um, but come on down on December fourth and talk to Wayne. Wayne is going to be with us and some of the other shoes leading up to that, so that you can be better prepared to what you want to do. Yeah, so you can always look at our website as well. The main website for the, for the corporation is DignityMemorial.com, but we also have a Facebook page we set up. It's just Facebook.com, obviously, and then Dignity Memorial SE Florida. And you can see a lot of the local, local events and offers and things that, are doing, that we're doing in our activities. Um, visit us there. Give me a call, and we're happy to uh, th run through those options for you. And again, it's just one small payment. You're set. Guess you started. You're good to go. Five six one six five four nine thousand. And as for the man with two first names, you know what though, <laughs> Wayne really Henry. A, it's a great holiday gift, and we're laughing. I don't say this in jest, but just knowing that you're giving your loved ones that sense of security for Christmas, and knowing you, you know what your kids would now they're thinking about it because of Wayne. But other than that, people don't think about it until God forbid that time comes. Yeah. And then you don't want to have to make that decision. But just knowing that this is prearranged and it's yeah. done. It's one less thing you're not worrying about saving for money, although I know your son Freddie does. But no one thinks about it. Yeah, but it's it. peace of mind. But too. look at the expense and what you had to do with your mom. There was no peace of mind what you had to deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. It just came about out of the blue and it happens. Mm -hmm. And I gotta tell you something. My my son Freddie said to me, you know, Dad, you've worked really hard for us. You've done. You think about your parents. You know, your your father, your mom. You think about how much they sacrifice for you guys. You know, and they were saying, we got to do whatever it is that has to be done. And my son and uh, Freddie is organizing this whole plan that we have with Wayne. Because, I, you know, I do, I would love a mausoleum. I know I'm not going to get one. I'm going to bring Michelle over to talk to Wayne also. I'm going to go get her. Okay. I'm going to go get Michelle talking to Wayne. It. So it's all about, I mean, you can be as creative I as you want. And I know what yeah. I have to do to get there. 
but it is doable. Doesn't mean it's that everything I want, I'm going to get. But yesterday, before I talked to you and him, I wasn't going to get anything. Right. And they, and they come up to me and say, well, the pool has a more? plot. We could sort of throw you down in a hole and be done yes. with it. So that wasn't what I wanted either. So Which is it's Lorraine. all about um, being creative. It's about yep. being open-minded. Having a conversation yeah. is not going to hurt you. And we go from there. And also, if you even if you have your pre-arrangement in place, you may not have your travel protection. We also offer travel protection plans. So if you're going to go out of town, I was actually working with a couple last year at this time before Thanksgiving. I did their pre-arrangements, and uh, the guy was like, "We don't travel anymore. We don't need that travel protection. You know, take that off." You got to sit then, in the uh, chair. And then they w they went up to New Jersey to visit his son, and he died of a heart attack on, at the Thanksgiving dinner table. Really. So that plan, the full price is four ninety nine. With this discount, it's less than four hundred fifty bucks. To start, he, he no, just the for whole that plan? travel plan. That's it, one time fee, and you're covered for the rest of your life. They chose not to do that, and then he died, and they had to spend over two and a half thousand dollars just to get him back to Florida wow. to bury him. Wow. So that's that's what it does, and it it covers you internationally, anywhere in the world. If you're on a cruise, wherever you are, it covers all the expense and the hassle with embassies and everything else. So it's wow. a really uh, it's a great thing to to add, and that can be done with your plan or it can be done separately. So even if you've pre-planned already, check and see. If you haven't done with Dignity, I'd guarantee you don't have that. Yeah, because Dawn's parents, I, I heard that they were going to call you to see if they can move sites yeah, and yeah, all that. Yeah. That's all in the plan as well. Yeah. But do they go on cruises and stuff? Do they yeah. travel? Right here. Well, they should have that that. Uh, Our father just plan. turned 80, okay, so which is an amazing thing. Yeah. Well, I yeah. do, but you know what? I'm helping Michelle get up. I can see that. I want Michelle to meet Wayne. Nice moves. Oh, yeah. So really <laughs> Very scared. good. On the floor. On the floor. Oh. Very good. <laughs> she used to be a ballerina dancer. Wow. Right? Yes. You have fun? Right now, I have to tell you, I was resistant. I know you were. You were screaming at me. She was screaming. She was saying, no, no, no. You could tell it's in your it's in your blood. It is in my blood. You know, Don't can't stand still. This is always dancing. Always he's always dancing. Always looking. Look at Hector. He's got a hand over. It. Well, that's her name. It's in her name too. You know what that is? What? I got the N E W in my name. She's got that N E W in her name. Oh, that's a different. That's a different <laughs> band. <laughs> I heard about that one. You know that I know eight Don Dons. And they all came and did one show together. It was the funniest thing we ever did, remember? <laughs> it had to be. My God, what energy. It was ridiculous. Ridiculous. We What's should do that name, again. Right? We will. We should do it at the new place, the new theater. We should do, yeah, a show and by certain names and see what happens. Oh, that's interesting. We've got like yeah? six Steves at our place. So. Look at this guy has two first names. His name is Wayne Henry. Oh, oh. Those Michelle wise. is a numerologist. Those wise, very interesting. And your name. He What's got your last two name? of them. Henry. Henry is my last name. Actually, Wayne is my middle name. My Wh first name is Stephen with a PH. But I've he never gone by that. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's why we wanted you to meet him. So you are very analytical, right? Am I? Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, a little you bit. think about things. Oh, yeah, a little bit, maybe. Yeah, a little bit of a perfectionist about things, too. Things have be. to be a certain way. I can be, yeah. And uh, you like your, you like, I'm being upstaged by this. We're being upstaged. We're going to go to commercial break. We're going to turn the music down a little bit and keep going on. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Cruise Planners, an American Express travel representative, has a tremendous reputation for quality, service, and very competitive pricing for all of your travel needs. As a Cruise Planners travel advisor, Paul Vadiano will help you discover exciting adventures around the world, from cruises to land tours and completely packaged vacations. Paul specializes in all types of travel and will create an unforgettable vacation, wedding, or event just for you. Find Paul at www.cruiseoptics.com, on Facebook, or by phone at 561-232-2626. We make your travel dreams come true. Sometimes you need to shake things up a bit. 
to be a little adventurous to make your meals pop. Don Pablo coffee growers and roasters have that special ingredient. That little bit of adventure in a bottle to take your dinner to the next level. So take a leap and try one of Don Pablo's fresh roasted specialty coffee meat rubs on your beef, chicken, or pork. You'll never go back to boring again. Go ahead, rub it on your meat. And we're back. And you, you want a pen? How can you walk around with no pen? I have a pen. I'll get it. You're going to share my pen? Put you on a spot like this. Alec, we're going to. I just up. introduced you. I didn't put you in no spot. I went Alec's going to dance with Lorraine also. Yeah. We are going to show also how you can use dancing to rehab and we can put the, we're going to be putting the camera as soon as we can figure out what we're going on you what you got the numbers i got his numbers so you have a three life path how exciting is that what, what does is that a three mean? what does that mean what is it okay. a free i have a three life path too three life path. you are really can be this is do you want to hear the good news and the bad news? No, give them the bad first. <laughs> give them the bad first. Okay. Always bad first. Yeah, right. That's the way it is. And then give you the end it on a high note. First. But okay. you're going to live. But you're going <laughs> to live. Okay, so threes on the kind of downside, they can be very critical. They have a very critical eye about things. They can, but not just critical of other things or other people, of themselves. Okay? Are we, are we on? Yeah, yeah, we're on. Keep okay. going. So, um... The good side is really creative, really mm. inventive, a lot of good ideas. So I think that you think a lot, and um, but you like to have fun as well, don't yeah, you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All about fun. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that's the that's just a, a brief. A, a three needs to be creative. They need to create. Yeah. In one way, one shape or form, one way or another, they have to create. Yeah, I think that's very accurate, yeah. So did you ever think of writing or anything? Um, no, I'm not, I'm not a writer. I mean... You have a lot of ideas, though? Sure, yeah. So maybe yeah, getting so I'm them... quite a creative, like, um, I mean, my background is kind of in marketing, um, promotion, oh, those sorts wow. of things. So kind of being okay. very creative, okay. trying new things. Yeah. Um, How's it going? Good? Events, well, things. Got the NEW train. Oh, wonderful. Of course you do. <laughs> the, the any, no, I'm good on the NEW train. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and talk to Alec and Lorraine. Okay, so, so it's 20. Lorraine is post hip replacement and she uses this dancing for exercise and right. rehab. Very so I'm going to go over and so chat are you with doing them. doing something okay. with your house coming up or anything like that? We've got lots of things on a list that we want to do. Just uh, yeah. save, saving up money to do I what we want to do. Year, yeah. yeah, 2020, which is right around the corner. I think yeah. you're going to be doing a lot of things. You're going to sell your house. house. Your you house is going to be sold. Upgrade, yeah. You, yeah. might, you might sell, for sure. Could no, be. you're going to sell. I see selling your future. You're, are you taking my over my job? No, no, I see it. Well, you know, yeah, yeah, sometimes would, you, you start, you start the, you turn the engine on and we all get in the car. <laughs> okay, that's okay, good. Okay, Freddie, I'm going to go over and talk to Alec I and like Lorraine. That. Because we're all intuitive. We're all naturally intuitive and all naturally. The threes are very intuitive, like the insides of people. Alec and Lorraine, if you guys want to come over here, yeah, we that's what get he does for a little. camera shot. Hold on a second. What do we got? We're going to talk to Alec and hold Lorraine. On once, ho hold on you one second. You are amazing. Second. We're going to. Oh, I have a great teacher. Tell us how you ended up here. Um, after my surgery, I was looking to dance again, and I found Alec online, and we just celebrated our two-year anniversary. That's a, you said what kind of surgery did you have? Hip replacement. And this has done, Alec said, wonders for you for rehab. Yes. Well, can I demonstrate what she looked like when she first walked in the studio? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, so just take a look, the beauty of watching. Just with the box step, wow. Wow. How, how long post-surgery were you at, back in here? Uh, it was a, almost a year. 
Oh, wow, and that was all you were movement in a year? And now you've been here too? And you're going to see what we can do now. All right, we're going to keep the camera on and see what she's doing now after two years. You've used this for rehab. Yes. All right, let's, all right, let's take a look and see what we got going on. And of course, the music is spectacular. You're good. How beautiful that is. Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. That's incredible. Really amazing. We were just getting to the good part. You want to keep going? Keep going, and we've got it on both cameras. All right. And I want to bring Jen up. Jen, you want to learn how to dance? Let's do the three swivels, and then off you go. And then we'll bring Carmen. All right, here we go. And then we've got a, new, a newbie for you. She's going to be a newbie. You guys finish and then oh, okay. let Jen have some fun. I'll watch you guys and then I'll okay. yeah, keep on that one. They said we were just getting to the best part and the music stopped. Wow. Let me just walk off here. We walk off into the sunset. And there you have it. There you have it. Beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Absolutely spectacular. We have more. You have more? <laughs> do you ever dance? What do you want? That's what I want to see. I want to see Jen G dance. You want to see Jen G dance? Yes. Because she says she wanted to dance. That's this lady right here. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Mixed our, I mixed, missed our group class. She's throwing these curveballs at me. Okay, so what are we doing now? Jen G. I want, Jen G, Jen. actually, she knows how to dance. You met. Yeah. And yeah. Jen's great with Moby. Jen, you can help grow there. your what business to the next you? level as well with Moby Pop. Hi, Jen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. But think about how great this is for networking a business, right? You can talk about growing a business and talk to him about Moby Pop and while you're dancing and you grow and go. But the whole thing is, too, to, like, get people on one page. Everyone's doing one activity together and really to network. And you can co commonly bond on, I can do this, I can't do this, I do want to learn. That's what life is about, learning new things. Amazing. Boom. Boom. All so right. Are you we learning to dance now? Is that what you want? Yeah, Is teach her some want? teach her something. Oh. And then okay. she'll teach you something and then everyone's a win-win. Right Let's do it. Because she can help you with what you want and you can help her dance and we keep networking. And then we'll turn Freddie's mics back on. Yeah, man, well, yeah, you gotta turn it off. He's editing, he's turning you on at the same time. <laughs> You gotta look at me because I'm gonna tell you switch. The mic's on. Yep, and off. now they're all on. All right, you're These on. All off. If the keep going, on. We're all on. We're all on. Let's take a quick commercial. Let's go to commercial break. Reassess. And you know, we'll don't right. listen to her. Listen to me. Because I I'm, I have background noise here with the music. I know you have to turn it off. We're on. gonna go to break. Okay. We're gonna break. I'm not even camera. We'll be right back. Boca. Products of purest natural ingredients and providing a safe alternative method for relief from many symptoms, creating a healthier lifestyle without the use of opioids. Use hemp boca products for improved mental health and overall well-being. It's safe, legal, and non-psychoactive. Our pure and high-quality CBD is from clean industrial hemp, then extracted slowly over days to produce the strongest and most effective products on the market, made in the U.S. with no synthetic ingredients. Committed to bringing our customers the highest grade CBD oil on the market. Our industrial hemp, it's organic with no solvents and pesticides, gluten-free, vegan, full spectrum and third-party double lab tested. Our top priority is your health and wellness and we are confident you will love our products and the amazing relief so you can enjoy the things you love to do. Try our products and start living a healthier lifestyle. Hemp Boca, good health, and good sense are two of life's greatest blessings. 
If a tree falls in the woods and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Have you ever felt that your voice goes unheard? And you think that you can make a difference if only someone would just listen. It's time for women in business to have a place to step into your power. A platform to embrace your hopes, dreams, and your visions. A voice to heal and restore. Your voice can make a difference. We have the platform to share your story and let your voice be heard. Be kind to yourself. Give yourself the chance to be heard and shine bright. Contact New Dawn Media by texting CAFE to 80800. That's C-A-F-E to 80800. Cafe TV, what a spectacular way to end this week. We are live at the Delray Ballroom with Paramount Dance, and you can see Jen G and Alec Lazo dancing behind me. You can see Amanda, the owner, she's doing a dance lesson. So much fun. Everyone has come out, everyone had fun. Team building, networking. I think it's so great. You know how guys are on the golf course and they get to network? What about networking in the dance floor, on the dance floor? Right, Jen can talk about Moby Pop, Alec can teach her the new box step, and everyone gets to grow their business and just have a great time. Funny thing is, I was just talking to Wayne, that Dignity can actually do one of their seminars here with dancing. Celebrating life, absolutely. Celebr there you go, celebrating life. Celebration of life with dance. I mean, and this can hold to every age. Ouch, to every <laughs> age, that hurt. To every age out there, I know, that hurt. Um, but think about it, because this is really what it's all about. Even Jen G, out on the floor right now, she's laughing. To get Jen you know, G away from I the saw, computer I is saw that amazing. move. Very good. Very nice. Yes, I saw that. You're good. <laughs> Touchdown. Always with grace. Grace and elegance. Where are you going? Get over there or get over here. Do something. You are, um, well, I was just a prep. We like to cheat a little bit, so we look Get good. Get over there, when pick we're up a the mic, air. and just throw that, throw those I mean, pillows you guys to the threw side. Give me a brand newbie. That's a great way to see what it's really like. Well, because she came a little bit later, but so she missed all the fun, but she Love got it. right in it, right, and she loved it. Why not? So brave, and yeah, you know, everybody starts somewhere, so it's good to be able to share the beginning and then kind of see where it can go with people that have passion for it. It's amazing, and you're looking, all ages are welcome here to join with new oh, teachers, yeah. new classes. Absolutely, we do We do it all, from social dancing to competitive pro-am, coaching and teaching, but it's mostly a, a, a fun social activity. The, the moms and dads have their kids doing it now. This ballroom dancing, I think, has elevated to a, a place where it's an accepted activity in our culture, and it's people know it's good for you. It's multiple benefits, and socially for kids, it's great. Amazing. I'm looking at behind us. How long has she been dancing? I have no idea, but you know, this demographic is what really are the legs of our industry. It's people like yourself and I. We've found who we are, we know where we are, and we're just looking for something sometimes to fill gaps in our lives, good habits, healthy hobbies. So we have a lot of those. And it's I like great. that. Freddie, how do you like this for a new segment? Healthy hobbies. Healthy hobbies. I love it. That's a I great idea. I, I Healthy it hobbies. Has all, there's so many other ideas going through my head right now. And I'm sitting here. I got Moby Pop here. I got Dignity here. All the other companies can actually come in here, like you said, to build confidence and everything else. To build Seminars. confidence. I mean, I, mean you, you, I would have dinners here. You could have a dinner party. I even think the first thing Alex said to you was, Stand shoulders back. It's all about posture, right? And that's even in business. It's about posture. It's how you present yourself, how you go forward. Wayne is still caught up on the singers that we had to anchor in. Yeah. Can you imagine them in here? Oh, we've got more. Actually, that phone call I got from the UK, that was someone asking us to interview an opera singer coming to the States in January. 
So they're going to bring uh, it, her up just, to the stage. It's just a venue that keeps on giving. Yeah, so we've got a, an opera singer who has been performing in the UK for dignitaries is coming in, and they just asked if we would interview them and let them perform. Very cool. I said no. I'm kidding. No, you I said didn't. yes. I said I know no. you didn't. Now, that <laughs> lady over here that just waltzed by, that was impressive, right? Yeah. That was unbelievable. You are amazing. Amazing. In the the way she just, the, the whole shirt. floor was just. Unbelievable. And who's the teacher stuff. on this cup over here? This teacher, his name is Denise. Which Lago. one is Denise? Denise is the one in the black and white top. Okay. She was one of my former dance partners, and and uh, we did a lot of damage together on the professional circuit okay. of the ballroom world. Didn't know she was going to be here today. Oh, okay. She's kind of upset <laughs> that she's trying to teach, and we're in here took over the studio. We're only here for a few more minutes, Denise. She's, she's such a trooper that she didn't say anything till I did. Fantastic. <laughs> she's doing a one-on-one -on -one solo with a real dance enthusiast. Her name is Nancy, and Nancy takes her dancing seriously at a, at a you know, hobbyist dance level, and she goes out dancing two or three nights a week. So it's just a life practice and skill for him to enjoy. Truly beautiful. Yeah. All right, you would switch the cameras back that just over. Walk back as a world ballroom champion, a former one, the one that you—he's teaching the lady that you noticed know dancing there. Beautiful. Tom wow, Didn't Tom is incredible. You never know who's going to be here. You never know. We got two no, cameras back shop. over I heard, there. I heard J Lo's on her way. J Lo's on her way. I'm in. <laughs> and that ain't the J Lo you're thinking. I got a friend of mine called J Lo. Another friend called J Lo coming in. Listen, we. Gen G, I want to talk about how Moby Pop gets a play in this thing. I want to talk about how Dignity gets a play on all this thing as well. And I want to talk, I want to introduce Gen G from Moby Pop on this set. Nice job. <laughs> that was great. No, well, you know what really was Alec did a great job teaching me what to do. I've, ne I've never ballroom danced before, and he was like telling me exactly what to do. So it was a very easy step-by-step -step direction, and it was... Uh, he did a great job, for sure. So much fun, right? I feel like I'm sitting in a hole, Freddie. I'm used here, to a pillow. Here, here, here. <laughs> so funny, now you, you Jen, all see the cheating. Jen, the funny thing is that I went up there, and I bombed. But you were everybody nervous. said, if Freddie can, Freddy can, can do it, then we can all bomb. Yes. I'm always willing to try, right? Why not, you know? Of I got to give an award to Wayne for the guys. Wayne did a nice job up there, I got to admit. Excellent. And my ballerina here, <laughs> who, did, who fought me tooth and nail. She's a natural. She you are a natural. <laughs> did you have fun? I did. I, I Talk into your microphone, then. I, well, because I she doesn't have one. There you go. <laughs> okay. So I really did enjoy it, and I really appreciate the fact that you pushed me to do it in a gentle way. That's kind a good, of. Get your ass out this when right, I say right. <laughs> Okay. But this has been such an it. amazing, amazing day. Alec is over there, and he comes back, and Amanda... She's busy, but um, everyone's dancing, and I guess we can close out the show. What a about little. Linda Summers? Linda Summers. Linda. And, and Chewy, you've never seen dancing till you see a service dog dance with you. I, I can't believe I, I missed that. I would have loved to see Chewy Jen, dance. Jen, I'm going to tell you right now, I can't believe. You got moves, man. Thank you. I thought you said you couldn't dance. I didn't say that. I said I used to oh, dance. My goodness. I can't she's, now. She's like I mean, go to the side. She's like, not now, Chewy. Gracefully. You saw that, right? I try. <laughs> well, I had to hold on a little bit. I, but I have a bad left leg. I but as long as I, leg. thank you. But as long as I hold on to somebody that knows that, then I feel confident and I can try to do the best I can. But. Even, even, I know, you're in, look at Michelle. <laughs> Michelle's in awe. She's Recorded. speechless. For Michelle to be speechless, that's big. Yeah, that's kind of hard. But I just want to say, I mean, since we have Thanksgiving coming up, yes. about gratitude, because I don't, I don't think I'll be on here before Thanksgiving. Well, you're gonna you know, you're invited on Wednesday. Oh, God. You heard about Wednesday, <laughs> yes? I'm in. I'm already coming. Heard about Wednesday. Yes, yes you can come and I'm sing. I'm baking now. Oh. You're baking now? Yeah, I started baking. <laughs> yeah, she started baking, which is nothing. Teddy's starting in about 10 minutes now. Teddy started 10 minutes ago. <laughs> but, you, Wayne, you're also invited. You can bring the family, bring everybody. We're having a, what is it called? And we're having a Friendsgiving. I love Friendsgiving it. Friendsgiving on Wednesday. Friendsgiving at our new studio. At the new Everyone theater. Everybody's invited. invited. At a new studio. At a new yeah. studio. Potluck. Wow. Bring something, you come a bottle, down. something to eat, a cookie. I have on Wednesday. Bring them. <laughs> this place is big enough to hold everybody. Everybody. Oh, bring session. everybody. I'll give you a private room. I got multiple rooms. I may even give you the loft. 
yeah. right? Oh, the yeah. podcast law. Oh. You're going to love the law, but I may lose you there, but that's okay. That looked, okay. Well, yeah, why not? Looks but okay. it's been what an amazing journey we've had, Freddie. And to end the week and to be moved into our new studio tomorrow, we're going to keep unpacking, setting the set, maybe doing some painting. A lot of things going there on. There is nothing better than having friends yeah. Yeah. make anything bad go away. And this it's is just going to take us right? to another level True. because my numbers were red. Yes. And they told me, point and keep going. Is that what and that's what, we, that's what we're going to be. No, this okay. is from the chart. From the yes. chart. Yeah. So we're going to keep going. I want to thank all the producers for, for putting up with us for the last two weeks. We know we've pushed the limit with you guys. And we wanted to do something for you guys today. I'm glad you had fun. Even, Mi even Manuel, Manuel <laughs> a.k.a. Miguel, had fun today. And, and I'm going to tell you, this, this lady right here, unbelievable. Um, but you stepped right on his big toe. I know I did. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah. With grace. Nailed it. With grace. But you also flared when you did it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's all good. Now, did you have fun? I had a great time. Good Wayne stuff? says to me, I know you are sick because you haven't sat down yet. He goes, this is really you. This is really me. If you don't see me doing this, you know something's Fireball wrong. is what he said. <laughs> that too. Fireball. And you know, it's it funny. The NEW. And it's funny because Dignity is here celebrating life with yes. us. Aww. He had a lot of fun. And he's a good sport. He's gonna bring his wife to dance, and uh, and you're gonna have you got two wines in your name. Is that what it is? Two wines. Two wines. N E W. And an N E W Trinity. That is like. Fifteen percent off on. Two wives and yeah, a pee. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> That's ready. I actually. That's a big Thanksgiving dinner we have. I actually did. Listen, fifteen percent off. What's the number, Wayne, for people to call you? Six five four nine thousand. Five six one six That's five easy. four nine thousand. And now, to get more information on dancing, you can check out the Ballray Del Room. We're at fifty eight fifty West Atlantic Boulevard in Delray. Paramount Dance. This is their southernmost location. You can call and talk to Alec. He's got incredible teachers for single dancing, for individual lessons, for group lessons. They even did a group lesson here. Wow. Been amazing. Listen, yeah. Moby Pot. Did I get my uh, my little card? Yes, it's, it's coming. I made an executive decision for the Brooklyn Cafe. Now you. You gotta check out Moby Pop, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta you gotta check this out because this is a new way for, for the for the future in business. And we're gonna get dignity hooked up with this for all the salesmen to use as well. It's a great way of pushing out. I love what you did last night. You did a solo I did a and solo. she explained how to use it. I saw the show last night and I'm going, you know something? She always comes up with something new. Always. And, and there to are find different our ways Moby of Pop, using it. How this do they do that, Freddie? You go to five five three one two. And, and you put cafe. Text five cafe Easy. to 55312. Is that right? Yes. I got it right? You got it right. Yeah. I wish yeah. I had your bell. Do you know I was hacked on Facebook? Yeah. And do you know what the <laughs> test is? Do you know these people? And guess what? You didn't. I called my so, son. No, you, he texted me, who are these people? <laughs> and if I pass the test. And you know what the last one was? Teddy. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. I said, oh, Teddy. What is her last name? You had to prove your identity, and I kept getting screenshots. Who's this? Who's this? And I finally said, why? I got, because Facebook I got hacked. wouldn't let you in. But everything is good. And it's funny, because I told Sarah Spiritual I got hacked. She jumped off the boat. Now she's got to come back. Amazing. Whoa. But this good has been such a great Friday, such a great week. Next week, we are in our studio, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes, Michelle, it's all about gratitude, right? Yes, We've all come is. a long way. And everyone, it's the journey. And it's about being grateful for what we have. We've got great community. We've got great producers and interns and sponsors and friends and family. And the community has supported us. So I think we're going to do on Wednesday, we're going to introduce a new Moby Pop. Okay. I want to do a new page. Okay. I want to do a whole new thing. And maybe we get to open a bottle of champagne in the place. Yes. I'm we haven't done that yet. Yes. We haven't said the blessing. Como se dice? Como se dice? I'm going to hang a mezuzah on the door? No, no, not. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not a mozozak. What is a mezuzak? What's a mezuzah? What's that? You yeah. put it on the door. It's a blessing to bless your yeah. place. Yeah. It's a blessing. Yes. It's a I usually get holy water. You can have you know holy water. Does that work? The holy water. I'll bring the mezuzah, and we got it going on. Covered. Going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm covered all over the place. I'll be a draft. I'm going to get it. Yes, we're going to burn sage. Don't tell her that. She almost burned the place down. She had this sage thing. It looked like a. It looked like a giant joint. Like, what is that? It is. It does. She says it's sage. It smells right. Now I don't. How would you know all this information? I didn't say it smelled like it. I said it was like. Oh, it does. You said it looked like. Yes. And put salt in all the corners. Yes. 
right? I, you know, I did that, and they gave me they gave me a bag. I thought it was salt. It was sugar. You know what I got? Nothing but ants. ants. Every corner of the whole place, salt. salt in all my corners of the house. And Every corner. For safety, but my cats decide they want to. You ever heard this? <laughs> I gotta get a lot of salt. A lot of salt. This place is so big. I'm gonna have to get one of those salt mountains from New York to bring it down. But I, Honey, yeah. this is a huge so, place. Corners, I, I got 7,000 corners. I'm going to give you the address. Our address, we're at 2400 Northwest Boca Raton Boulevard. The invite is going on social media. We're going to post that. Everyone is welcome. Just come on out. Bring a little nosh if you want something to eat, something to drink, or just come out and have some fun. And if you bring drink, you don't have to bring nosh. You got it. Oh, How's that? Okay. It's been a great week. Thank you all for supporting us. Thank you to Paramount Dance and Delray Ballroom for hosting us. For more information, you can check them out on social media. You can look them up on Google. It is Paramount Ballroom Dance, Delray Ballroom, 5850 West Atlantic Boulevard in Delray Beach. And have a great day, everyone. Be kind to each other. We'll see you Monday, same time. Thank you. Back in our studio, our new studio. And don't be late. Everybody say bye. Bye-bye.